lungs, respiratory system. Listen carefully. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Nose and mouth are just a passageway. Breathe as much as possible, as slow as possible, as full as possible. In through the nose, out by the mouth. So bring your feet together so your toes and heels are touching. Interlock all 10 fingers with your thumbs cross. Place your knuckles like glue underneath your chin. Stand up nice and tall, straight spine, shoulders relaxed. Look into your eyes or focus one point in front of you. Swallow a couple of times, have a beautiful class, and start, please, inhale. Elbows all the way up to the ceiling, full lungs. Exhale. Very gently push your chin back with your knuckles. Keep your spine straight and your elbows touch. Inhale. Bring the chin down, gentle pressure into the knuckles as the elbows go all the way up to the ceiling, full lungs. Exhale, open your mouth. It's a beautiful ha sound and your elbows touch. Inhale, head down, stomach in, stomach, stomach, suck it in, tighten it up. Rib cage visible in the mirror, hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head way, way back, emptying your lungs completely, body weight on the heels, elbows a little sooner, we need to synchronize the movement even better. Inhale, chin down, so elbows are going up, bring your chin down a little sooner, some of you, so you can take three counts to stretch up out of the rib cage, open the intercostals. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head way, way back, arms have to be moving even sooner, some of you, so as head goes back, Elbows touch away from the chest, synchronized. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four. Keep stretching, keep stretching. Hold it. Exhale, one, two. Shoulders relax and arms moving forward already because as soon as the chin lifts, arms have to move. That synchronization, hold it. Inhale, head down. The slower you go, the better you do, but some of you have to get your chin down a little sooner to really engage the rib cage and the lungs a little more. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, arms moving forward, tighten up your legs on the exhale. Whole time, body weight is on your heels. Inhale, head down. Each breath you wanna try and take in more and more and more, stomach in, full lungs. Exhale, head up. As that chin lifts gently, let your shoulders relax, keep your chest up, no hunch back, spine straight, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, stomach in, stomach, stomach, suck it in, tighten it up, rib cage visible in the mirror, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly keep the connection, knuckles always glued to the chin, pushing the head back, and also on the inhale, that gives you leverage, that gives you a stretch of the neck. Inhale, chin down. Now put the chin into the knuckles. Feel the chin pressing gently down. Stretch the back of your neck. Stretch up out of the waist, full lungs. Hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head way, way back. Look for the wall behind you. Empty every drop of air out of your lungs. Hold it. Last one, make it strong. Stomach in, inhale. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Stomach, stomach, full lungs, hold. Exhale. Push your head gently back, relax, chest up, empty your lungs completely, elbows touch away from your chest and hold it. Now arms down by your side, stand still. Do everything practically set two times, so we'll do second set right away. Feet together, interlock all 10 fingers, thumbs crossed, place your knuckles like glue to the chin. Shoulders relax, body weight on your heels, look into the focus, look into your focus, that's a beautiful expression. And start again, inhale, chin down, stomach in. Elbows all the way up to the ceiling, stretch up to your shoulders a little uncomfortable. Exhale, head up, use the knuckles. Arms have to move forward for some of you much sooner so that no pain in the neck, you never want to feel pain in the neck. Inhale, chin down, stomach in, stomach, stomach, suck it in, tighten it up. Stretch up out of the waist, full lungs, hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. Now elbows touch away from the chest. Some of you are lifting your elbows so high that you're backward bending. Some of you need to lower elbows to straighten the spine. Inhale, head down. It says shh. elbows touch away from the chest wherever they touch. Everybody has different range of movement, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head way back. 
tighten your legs. Some of you need the shoulder, the elbows coming together much lower so you can keep your chest up and no backward bending, spine straight. Inhale, head down, stomach in. Each time try to take in a little more and more and more air, full lungs, hold it. Exhale, knuckles gently push the head up and back. Beautiful, I see now even much better synchronization. You've got it, you're getting it. It looks good, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, inhale, head down. So true pranayama has that pause at the end of the inhale and the exhale, no air coming in or out, hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head way, way back. Pushing all that stale air out of your lungs, elbows touch away from your chest. Inhale, head down. Try to take in a little more and more and more air than last time. Always body weight on your heels, people. Hold it. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head way, way back. Push all that air out of your lungs. Empty your lungs completely. Spine straight, elbows touch away from your chest. Inhale, two more on those second set. Deepest breaths you've ever done in your life. Keep inhaling. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, stretch up a little more, full lungs, hold. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head way, way back. Exhale, every single drop of air out of your lungs, elbows touch away from your chest. And last one, inhale, make it a good one, make it strong. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling, stretch up a little more, full lungs, hold. Exhale, head up, slowly push every single drop of air, keep exhaling. Keep exhaling, beautiful alignment, Changu, beautiful. Relax the shoulders, everybody. Elbows touch and hold it. And that's enough. Arms down by your side, stand still. Now, normal breathing through the nose as we begin the posture, starting with the half moon series. Arshantrasana with hands to feet pose, Padasasana. Everybody, feet together, toes and heels touching. Everyone together, please. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumb. Hands like glue up to the wrist, stretch up to the ceiling, right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Do you want to feel a tremendous stretch down both sides of the body? In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling, right, left, right, left, right, left, and when you cannot stretch anymore, stop in the middle, set it up. Glue your hands, palms together, up to the wrist, elbows locked, no gap between your biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit, opening up hips and pelvis, upper body back a couple of inches, opening your chest and rib cage, chin up, grip tight. Concentrate one point on that spot in front of you throughout the posture, maximum body weight is on your heels. Inhale, breathing full lungs. Hold the breathing. Stretch your body, your waist one more time. Touch the ceiling. Absolute straight line. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows and without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're creating a tremendous stretch all over, inside out, fingertips to toes, bones to the skin. Hips forward, arms back, chin up, body weight is on your heels. Push your left hip forward to get two hips in one line. Everybody a little more right shoulder forward and lift the chest up to open the intercostals like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Body weight on the heels, nice strong arms. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, hold the breathing. Stretch up one more time, touch the ceiling, absolute straight line, very slow. Bend your body to the left without bending elbows, without bending knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're creating a tremendous stretch. Down the whole right side of the body, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Hips forward, arms back, more chin up, folks. Neck is visible, body weight on the heels evenly. Push your right hip forward, making sure hips are in one line from front and side view. Now, everybody, a little more lift in the chest, left shoulder forward to open up chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. You know, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Next is the backward bend. Back is going to hurt. No fear. Take an inhale breath, fill your lungs. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Relax. Lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine. Backward bending from your coccyx to your neck. 
push your upper body back. Get the body weight on your heels. That's key to lock the knees. Body weight on your heels. Try to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, hips, thighs forward towards the mirror. Relax it, arms back, go back, fall back, way back, more back. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Bend your knees and just put your hands on the floor. Easy does it. Bend your knees, put your hands on the floor and move your hips right and left. Right and left, I know, you're just warming up the body. Right and left, right and left, let the hips go up and down. You wanna make sure your lower back is comfortable, loose, easy, and flexible. It's a warm up, so we're just starting out the warm up. Be gentle at the start. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Now let's set up hands to feet pose. Grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers. Little pinkies touching side by side. Now really important, make sure you get your elbows behind your calf muscles throughout the entire posture, get a good grip, don't lose the grip. Pull on your heels as hard as possible and stretch your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on your legs below the knees. No air gap or light between your upper body and lower body. Looking like a Japanese ham sandwich, continuously pull on your heels. You're creating a tremendous stretch from your coccyx to your toes with your smiling, happy faces. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees. Roll forward to your toes, eyes open. Gently touch your face to your shins and lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together. And arms down by your side, stand still. Take a breath, let that one go. Second set, arms over your head sideways. Always do palms together, then interlock your fingers, release your index finger, cross your thumb. That's how you get the blue up to the wrist. Elbows locked, arms through the ears, no gap. Body weight on your heels, concentrate, meditate. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch right out of your waist, touch the ceiling, absolute straight line slowly. Bend your body to the right without bending your elbows and without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, opening up the whole left side of your body inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Hips forward, arms back, chin up, body weight on your heels evenly. Push your left hip forward, two hips in one line. Right shoulder forward to open up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Nice one. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. Body weight on the heels, concentrate, meditate. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, hold the breathing, stretch it out of your waist, touch the ceiling, absolute straight line, slowly bend your body to the left without collapsing, without bending your elbows and without bending your knees. And you wanna see the hips move a little bit to the right beyond your flexibility, A then B then C, opening up the whole right side of your body, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes, hips forward, arms back, chin up, body weight on the heels. Push your right hip forward, two hips in one line. Left shoulder forward, lift the chest up to open it like a flower petal bloom. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Second backward bend, slow and steady. Take an inhale breath, fill your lungs. Just drop your head back, let it relax. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Take it slow. We're going one step at a time. Push your upper body back. Try to touch the wall behind you. Get maximum body weight on heels and try to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, hips, thighs forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, go back, fall back, way back, more back. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Just bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, go easy. Put your hands on the floor first and then move your hips right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. This is your turn number two. Making sure lower back is comfortable, loose, easy, flexible, hopefully a tiny bit more warmed up. So let's set up second set. Grab your heels from behind, step in all five fingers, and make sure the elbows get behind the calf muscle. Better have a little bit less grip, but elbows back. You want, don't want the grip on the side of the feet, but otherwise you're pulling a little too much into the hip joint. Elbows behind the calf muscle, don't lose the grip. Pull on your heels as hard as possible. Stretch your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, relax your neck, face on your legs below knees. No air gap or light between upper body and lower body from the side. You look like Japanese ham sandwich. Continuously pull on your heels, pulling is the object of stretching, creating a little pain sensation from your coccyx to your toes with your smiling, happy faces. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible, try to lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees. Roll forward your toes, eyes open, touch your face to your shins. 
Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together, and arms down by your side, stand still, just let it go, one posture at a time. Upward pose, right foot step to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible behind the toes, feet look like the sides of a perfect letter H, don't change your feet for all three parts. Arms up, parallel to the floor, elbows straight position, Nothing loose, nothing hanging. You're trying to touch the near. Shoulders down, folks, chest up. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in as you sit down, imaginary chair, feet flat position. 100% body weight on your heels, spine is straight to begin with. Now suck your stomach in and lift your chest up. Arch your total spine backward bending, sitting on a chair. Suck your stomach in, compress the abdominal wall, abdominal muscles, suck it in, tighten it up. Open your knees, you want equal distance between knees, heels, toes, and arms. Chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathe and come up, stop in the middle, part two. Concentrate and meditate. Stand up on tops of your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Focus one point on yourself in the mirror or wherever your focus is. If you blink your eyes, you might lose your balance. Imagine I'm pulling your hair to the ceiling. Suck your stomach in, exhale, breathing. Sit down on the tops of the toes, spine straight till your hips are sitting in an imaginary chair. No gap between hips and head, touching the wall behind your arms, parallel to the floor still. Come up higher on the toes, heels up, knees up. You're sitting on the chair, it's enough to go below the chair. Inhale, breathing, come up. Stop in the middle, come up, come up, come up. Third and last part. Come up just a little bit on your toes and bring your knees together. Keeping heels in a little bit to give you more balance, take it down all the way, all the way. 10 counts all the way, all the way, all the way down. Whole time leaning against the imaginary wall. Continuously stretch your spine up to the ceiling to create a half inch gap between your hips and heels. No gap between hips and head, touching the wall behind you. Keep your knees together, forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel legs. Spine is perfectly straight from the side. You look like a 90 degree angle like a box. Suck your stomach in, take a deep breath and come up slowly, straight spine. Right foot back to the left, feet together, arms down by your side, stand still. Second set. Right foot step to the right, six inches apart, heels and visible behind the toes. Feet look like the size of a perfect letter H. Don't change your feet anymore. Arms up parallel to the floor, elbows locked position, triceps contracted, nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in as you Sit down, imaginary chair, feet flat position, 100% body weight on your heels. Spine straight to begin, make your feet, make sure your feet are still in the letter H. Suck your stomach in, lift your chest up, or your toes spine back, with bending, sitting on a chair. Suck your stomach in, you can press abdominal wall, abdominal muscle, suck it in. Tighten it up, open your knees, six inches, knees, heels, toes on, more chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, try to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathe in, come up, part two. Concentrate and meditate. Stand up on tops of your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Focus one spot in front of you. If you blink your eyes, you might lose your balance. Really stretch everything up to the ceiling. Imagine you're pulling your hair to the ceiling. Suck your stomach in and sit down on tops of the toes, spine straight, till your hips are sitting on the imaginary chair. Hips back, some of you, hips back, some of you are tucking, no tucking, hips back. Only hips and head touching the wall. Go up higher on the toes, heels up, knees up, upper body back, you're sitting on the chair. Hips are not to go below the chair. Inhale, breathing, come up. Keep your arms there, third part. Come up just a little bit on your toes and bring your knees together. Keeping your spine perfectly straight, we're going all the way down. Slower is better, all the way, all the way. Leaning against the imaginary wall the whole time. This also, no tucking. Only thing touching the wall are your hips and your head. All the way all the way, all the way down. Continuously stretch your spine up to the ceiling. You're using the traction of the spine upwards to create the half inch gap between your hips and heels. 
No gap between hips and head, touching the wall behind you. Keep your knees together, forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel legs. Spine perfectly straight from the side, looks like 90 degree angle blocks. Suck your stomach in, inhale, breathing, come up slowly, straight spine. Beautiful, right foot back to the left, feet together, arms down by your side, stand still. Next is Eagle Pose. Look at your arms, identify which is right, which is left, don't mix them up. Arms over your head sideways. Bring your right arm underneath your left, twist at your elbows, twist again at your wrists. Hands, palms together, thumbs towards your mouth, pinkies towards your mouth. Can't get your palms together. Do a quick, quick interlace. Work the wrist straight, work the fingers pointing up, even if it's uneven. Pull your elbows down toward the floor, chest up, eventually fingertips will go below your nose. Exhale, breathing stomach in, sit your hips in the imaginary chair with your chest up, stay down there. Lift your right leg as high as possible over your left leg and wrap your foot around your calf muscle so your toes are visible in there, just like ropes, sit on your chair and arch, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left to line everything up in the center. Ankles, knees, elbows, just fingers below the nose. If your foot's coming out, sit down more. Losing the balance, upper body back more. Sit down more, stomach in, elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change, arms over your head sideways. Bring your left arm underneath your right, twist at your elbows, twist again at your wrists. Hands, palms together. Interlace quick if you need to, interlace quick, quick. Pull your elbows down towards the floor, eventually fingertips below your nose. Exhale, breathing, stomach in, sit in the chair, hips back, chest up, stay down there. Lift your left leg as high as possible over your right. Wrap your foot around your calf muscle. So only the toes are visible in the mirror, not the whole foot, just the toes are visible in the mirror. Twist like rope, sit on the chair, and it would be more arch. Arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right, line everything up in the center. Ankles, knees, elbows, wrists, fingers below your nose. If your foot's coming out, sit down more, losing the balance, upper body back more, sit down more, elbows down, nice entria. Stomach in, upper body back at the end and change. Right into second set. Arms over your head sideways. Bring your right arm underneath your left. Twist at your elbows, twist again at your wrists. Hands, palms together. Now, <clears throat> make sure you're Thumbs up to your mouth and pinkies to the front wall. Pull your elbows down, chest up, stomach in, sit in the chair. Hips back, chest up, stay down there. Lift your right leg up and over. The higher you lift the leg, the more space you create to get your toes around your calf muscle. Just like ropes, sit in the chair. Now, arch your upper body back, upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, line everything up in the center. Ankles, knees, elbows, wrists, fingers below the nose. If your foot's coming out, sit down more. Losing the balance, upper body back more. Stomach in, elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change, last side. Arms over your head sideways. Bring your left arm underneath your right. Twist at your elbows, twist again at your wrists, hands, palms together. <clears throat> Thumbs to your mouth, pinkies towards the mirror, wrist straight. Pull your elbows down towards the floor. Eventually, maybe not this lifetime, your fingertips make up below your nose. Exhale, breathing, stomach in, sit in the chair. Don't lift your chin to get the fingertips below the nose. You gotta have your neck straight. Sit in the chair, chest up, stay down there. Lift your left leg as high as possible over your right. Wrap your foot around your calf muscles. All toes are visible and they're just like ropes. Sit on your chair and arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right. Line everything up in the center. Ankles, knees, elbows, wrists, fingers below the nose. If the foot's coming out, sit down more. Losing the balance, upper body back more. Sit down more, elbows down, stomach in, upper body back at the end, and change. Arms over your head sideways, arms down by your side. Have a sip of water. It is the only official water break we take in a Bikram yoga class. Truth be told, in Dedham, we have no water rules. We have person with one kidney. They take water when they need to. Sometimes you come into the room, you're really dehydrated. We'd rather you take your water and we'd rather you take care of yourself. So take your water as you need to, but try to keep your focus. If you don't need it, don't take it. All right, back to the middle of your mat for the balancing series. Balancing series. Next three postures are all about pushing the knee back, contracting the thigh, distributing body weight on your foot evenly and locking the knee. Standing head to knee pose, Dandemana Janya Shirasana, feet together nicely, arms down by your side. 
Shift your weight to your left leg, wipe your hands. I don't know if they're that wet yet. And grab your right foot in front of you, three inches below the toes, 10 finger interlock grip. Concentrate one point in front of you to see that your left leg is solid, concrete, lamppost, unbroken. No knee, you have no knee. Left leg solid, uh, left, distribute your weight equally the same all over your left foot. Inhale, breathing. Slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror to your right leg is parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower. Left knee locked. Continuously kick your heel out, flex your toes back, turn in at the ankle. If the standing leg is bending, the posture's not started yet. Kick your heel out, flex your toes back. Try to get both knees locked, so from the side, legs look like an upside down L as in Linda. When both knees are locked and you can balance or comfortably, then only bend your elbows down towards the floor. Elbows touch your calf muscle. Eventually, elbows go below your calf muscle. Change. Feet together, left side. Shift your weight to your right leg, wipe your hands. Grab your interlock your fingers or lift your leg up and grab it. Three inches below the toes, 10 finger interlock grip. Nice tight grip, but don't over grip. You gotta make sure you have room for the foot to fit into the hands. Look at your right knee in the mirror. It'll focus on a slot in front of you. Right leg solid, concrete, one post, unbroken, no knee. Just give your weight equally the same all over your right foot. You have no knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Left leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror. So it's parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Right knee lock, check, check. Continuously kick your heel forward, flex your toes back, turn in at the ankle. If the standing leg is bending, posture not started yet, kick your heel out, flex your toes back. Try to get both knees locked. Only when both knees are locked and you can balance there comfortably, then only bend your elbows down towards the floor. Elbows touch your calf muscle. Eventually, elbows go below your calf muscle. Change, nice one. Nice, folks, nice, really nice. Hands on your hips, do a quick one second backward bend. You're doing great, people. Second set will go full expression, standing head to knee. Shift your weight to your left leg, wipe your hands, grab your right foot in front of you, three inches below the toes, 10 finger interlock grip, concentrate. Grab your foot, lift the leg up as high as you need to. You don't wanna be so low that you're creating strain in the back. Grab your foot, look at your left knee, push your knee back, contract your thigh, nothing loose, nothing hanging. Don't roll to the side of the foot. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently lift your right leg up and stretch. You don't have to change the body angle. From where you grab your foot and where you kick out, your body angle is all the same. Continuously kick your heel out. Learn how to flex your toes back so you feel the stretch in the Achilles tendon. Only when both knees are locked, you can balance there. Bend your elbows down towards the floor. When the elbows go below the calf muscle, still you can balance there. Head down, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, and touch your exact forehead to your knee. Change. Change, change, change. Last side. Shift your weight to your right leg, wipe your hands. I know it's part of it. I can't wait to get back to the hot room. And grab your left foot in front of you. Three inches below the toes, 10 finger interlock grip. So make sure your body is at the angle. You're gonna keep it for kicking out. You wanna start really low and then have to come up. Grab your foot, lift it as high as you need to to get a good grip and lock your knee. Push your knee back, contract your thigh, nothing loose, nothing hanging. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, left leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror. Now let the shoulder stretch, let the elbow stretch. Really feel a whole stretch in the arms. Now push your heel forward, flex your toes back, turn at the ankle. Both knees locked and you can balance. Bend your elbows down towards the floor. When the elbows go below the calf muscle, then only tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and touch your exact forehead on your knee. Hold it and change. You got it, people. You got it working. Hands on your hips quick. One second backward bend. All right. Standing go pulling pose. Dhanimana Dhanurasana. Bring your right elbow up, palm facing up. I know I can't hear it, but I'd love to. Say, mama, give me money. All right. You're holding money in your hand. Don't turn your hand. Don't drop your money. Bring your hand to the side. Bring your hand behind you and grab your right foot from inside of the ankle. All five fingers included in the grip, thumb included in the grip. Nice tight grip. Left arm up to the ceiling, chin close to the shoulder. Concentrate one point on yourself in front of you. Make sure your knee is locked, knees, knees locked. And bring your knees together to start. 
Inhale, breathing and charge your body forward. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Now everybody bring your body down. Body down. You've got to get abdomen and chest. Body down till abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously kick as hard as possible. You should see your foot coming up over the center of your head. Two feet in one line from the side. Kick back, right shoulder behind the left. Left shoulder scapula stretching out of the body. In other words, two shoulders are in one line. Touch your shoulder to your chin. Kicking and stretching are equal 50-50. The harder you kick and stretch, you balance forever. Body down more, stretch forward. If you're losing the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down, stretch forward. Kick back, kick harder, kick up one more time. Change, come up. Feet together nicely. Left side, left elbow to the waist, palm facing up. Bring your hand to the side. Don't turn your hand, don't drop the money. Bring your hand behind you and grab your left foot from inside the ankle. All five fingers included in the grip, palm facing up, a nice tight grip. Right arm up to the ceiling, chin close to the shoulder. Concentrate one point on your right knee in the mirror. Make sure your right knee is locked and bring your knees together to start. Take a deep breath and Charge your body forward. Try to touch the space in front of you. Bring your arm down as if you're touching a mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up. Bring your body down. You've got to bring the body down before you kick as hard as possible. Body down till abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Now continuously kick as hard as possible. You should see your foot coming up over the center of your head. Two feet in one line from the side. Kick back, left shoulder behind the right. Right shoulder scapula stretching out of the body. In other words, your two shoulders are in one line. Touch your shoulder to your chin. Kicking and stretching are equal, simultaneous, 50-50. If you're losing your balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down, stretch forward, kick back, kick harder, kick up. One more time. Change, come up. Let it go. If you fall out of it, you're playing with your edges. Don't, you know, no, oh, I, yeah, this one not good today. Just every day is different. Honor it. Second set. Right elbow to the waist, palm facing up. Bring your hand to the side. Bring your hand behind you and grab your right foot from inside the ankle. All five fingers included in the grip, palm facing up. Nice grip. Left arm up to the ceiling, chin close to the shoulder. Concentrate one point on your left knee in the mirror and make sure. Left knee lock. Push your knee back, contract your thigh. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, and charge your body forward. So just try to touch a mirror in front of you. And at the same time, gently kick your leg up gently, gently. Now, every be gentle enough so you can get your body down to lower spine, to, from your lower spine to your abdomen and chest. So all you have to come down, come down even more, come down even more. Better to fall out of it and play with the edge. Until abdomen and chest parallel, point out, kick as hard as possible. That's when you start kicking to see foot coming up over the center of your head. Two feet in one line from the side. Kick back, right shoulder behind the left. Two shoulders in one line, touch shoulder to chin. Kicking, stretching, equal, 50-50. The harder you kick and stretch, you balance for Ever body down, more body down, stretch forward, kick back. The harder you kick, you balance forever. Body down, stretch forward, kick back, kick harder, kick up one more time. Change, come on. Last side, that was better. That was better. You gotta get the body down first before you kick as hard as possible. Sequence. Left side, left elbow to the waist, palm facing up. Bring your hand to the side. Bring your hand behind you and grab your left foot from inside the ankle. All five fingers included in the grip, palm facing up. Nice grip. Right arm up to the ceiling, chin close to the shoulder. Concentrate one point. Make sure right knee's locked. Push it back. Contract the thigh. Try to distribute the weight evenly on your foot. Two knees together to start. Inhale, breathing in. Charge your body forward. Try to touch the mirror. At the same time, kick your leg up and back behind you. Allow your body to just come down. Body down, body down. Till abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously kick as hard as possible. Foot coming up over the center of your head. Two feet in one line from the side. Kick back, left shoulder behind the right. Right shoulder scapula stretching out of the body. In other words, two shoulders in one line. Touch your shoulder to your chin. Kicking and stretching are equal, 50-50. The harder you kick and stretch, you balance forever, body down more, stretch forward. If you're losing the balance, you're not kicking hard enough, body down, stretch forward, kick back, kick harder, kick up one more time, change. Come up, better second set, all of you, really nice. All right, balancing stick pose. Next posture is only 10 seconds. So the moment you hear my clap, you have to make up your mind to step forward, use 100% of your strength in half a second if you're late, it's over. Feet together nicely, arms over your head sideways, palms together. 
Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Stretch up to the ceiling as if you're trying to touch the ceiling, elbows locked position, arms stay with your ears, chin up, upper body back, couple of inches. Take a deep breath, right leg big. Step forward, lock both knees, point your toes and go. Come down, arms and head together, body down, leg up, chest down, leg up, chest down, leg up. Whole body parallel floor like a capital T is in time. Shoulders, scapula stretching out of the body. Chin away from your chest. Lock both knees, point your toes and stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, breathing, step back, arms and head together. Chin up, arms back, left side. Take a deep breath, left leg big. Step forward, lock both knees, point your toes, transfer the weight and go. Chest down, leg up, chest down. Come down, arms and head together. Got to get the body down, leg up, body down, leg up. You want to be upside down. T as in Tom, not a broken umbrella. Look at your standing foot in the mirror. Shoulders, scapula stretching out of the body. Lock both knees, point your toes and stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, breathing, step back. Arms down by your side, just stand still. Hopefully heart rate's going up a little bit in that one. Make sure when you step forward, you transfer the weight and you can then point the other toes, transfer the weight to the working leg. And uh, there was one other thing I was gonna, okay. Beautiful heart acceleration, good for you. Let's do second set. Oh, I know what I wanna say. It's only 10 seconds, promise. Not the whole length of dialogue. I picked 10 seconds from the dialogue. Second set. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumb. Hands like glue up to the wrist. Stretch up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Chin up, upper body back a couple of inches. Take an inhale breath, right leg big. Step forward, lock both knees, point your left toes and go. Come down, arms and head together. Get the body down, leg up, chest down, leg up, chest down, leg up. Leg up, leg up, whole body parallel floor like a capital T, not a broken umbrella. Look at your standing foot four feet in front of you. Lock both knees, point your toes. Imagine you're being pulled apart like a human tug of war. Inhale, breathing, step back. Arms with your ears, chin up, upper body back up, a couple of inches. Take another inhale, breath. Left leg big. Step forward, lock both knees, point your toes and go. Transfer the weight, come down. Arms and head together, whole body parallel floor, come down, leg up. Leg up, leg up, whole body parallel floor like a capital T is in time, not a broken umbrella. Look at four feet in front of you, chin away from your chest, lock both knees, point your toes. Imagine you're being pulled apart like a human tug of war. Inhale, breathing, step back, arms down by your side. Nice work, people. That was a good second set. Standing separate leg stretching pose. Take one step to the left of your mat and towel for separate leg stretching pose. Bande mana di pata. Hashimottanasana, feet together nicely. Arms over your head sideways, right leg step to the right, a big step. Arms down immediately parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon toed. Make sure your knees are locked. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, you go down, chin forward, looking at the space in front of you, and your knees are locked. Grab your heels from the outside, all five fingers included in the grip. As a beginner, if you can't grab your heels, grab the sides of your feet. If you have herniation or lower back problem or pregnant, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Don't over be aggressive. All right, pull on your heels as hard as possible and stretch your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Chin up, roll forward, try to touch your forehead on the floor. If your forehead's not touching the floor yet, open your legs just a little bit more and more and more. I want your spine perfectly straight from your coccyx to your neck, coccyx to your toes. Chin up, roll forward, try to touch your forehead. First your leg stretch, then your hips. Lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine stretching, coccyx, neck, coccyx, the toes. Chin up, roll forward, last chance, touch your forehead on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. All right, legs step back to the left, feet together, arms down by your side, stand still. If your forehead's touching easily, take a smaller step, really important. And some of you that are bending the knees are too wide. Legs will be straight if you get them a little closer together. Most important, lock the knees, second set. Arms over your head sideways, right leg step to the right, a big step, arms down immediately parallel to the floor. Two heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon toe. 
Make sure your knees are locked. Exhale, breathing stomach in, you go down. Chin forward, looking at yourself in the mirror, and your knees are locked. Grab your heels from the outside, all five fingers included in the grip, thumbs included in the grip, or the sides of the feet. Get a good grip. Pull on your heels, roll forward like a wheel, and allow gravity. Let your spine stretch from your lower back to touch your forehead on the floor in between your toes. Let gravity stretch from the lower spine. If forehead not touching it, open legs just a little bit more and more and more. Your spine should be perfectly straight from your coccyx to your neck, coccyx to the toes. First leg stretch, then hips. Lower back, middle back, total spine stretching, coccyx, neck, coccyx to toes, chin up. Roll forward, bring the body in closer. Last chance, touch your forehead to the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Right leg back to the left, feet together and arms down by your side. Triangle pose, Chikanasana, culminating posture in the standing series. Feet together nicely, arms over your head sideways, right leg step to the right, a big step, four feet minimum. Make sure two heels are in one line. Push your hips forward and upper body back a couple of inches. Turn your right foot out so it's parallel to the space in front of you, whatever that space is. Turn a half inch more. Inhale, breathing, bend your right knee and sit. Bounce a couple of times. Bounce and bounce and bounce. You want to get your hips nice and low so that your right leg is parallel to the floor, like an upside down L as in Linda. Again, hips forward, arms back, spine straight in the center. Open your chest. Inhale, breathing, move both arms. Line up your elbow in front of your knee. Elbow, push the knee back, stretch down, touch from big and second toe, do not touch the floor. Turn your head, look up at your left hand, touch your chin to your shoulder, so profile is visible in the mirror. Take a deep breath, stretch up and down. Feel your two arms stretching in one line, natural human traction. Push your left hip forward, push your right knee back with a healthy elbow, touch your toes. Upper body turn or twist back, right spine, twist left knee lock, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Straighten your right leg, turn your right toes in. Turn your left foot out. Parallel to an imaginary mirror. Turn a half inch more. Inhale, breathing, bend your left knee and sit bounce and bounce. So right hips a little bit forward, left knee back, but spine always straight in the center. Stay down there, get down, bounce, bounce, bounce. Left leg like an upside down, L as in Linda. Now open your chest. Inhale, breathing, move both arms. Line up your elbow in front of your knee. Use your elbow to push your knee back. Stretch down, touch between big and second toe, don't touch the floor. Turn your head, look up at your right hand, touch your shin. Now, some of you have your head backwards. Try to really turn your face sideways so your profile is visible in an imaginary mirror. Stretch up, stretch down, feel your two arms stretching in one line, natural traction. Push your right hip forward. With the help of your elbow, push your left knee back, touch your toes, upper body, turn or twist back, light spine twist, right knee lock, upper body, turn or twist back, right knee lock, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Turn your foot in, right leg back to the left, arms do go up, arms do go down, stand still and breathe. So be careful, profile visible here. Some of you are like, oh my God, I did that. A little bit less is gonna be more to just let the head turn so profile's visible. All right, here we go, second set. Arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to the right, big step. Nice and long, three or four feet. Two heels in one line. Push your hips forward, upper body back. Open the heart and lungs. Turn your right foot out parallel to the front mirror. Make sure two heels stay in one line. Inhale, breathing. Now bend your right leg down and bounce and bounce. Le uh, left foot a little bit forward, right knee back. Now get as low as you can, no pain. Stay spine straight in the center is key and open your chest. Inhale, breathing, move both arms. Line up elbow in front of the knee. Use your elbow to push your knee back, stretch down between big and second toe, not touch the floor. Now just gentle turn of your head so that your profile is visible in the mirror, but your eyeballs are looking up at your left hand. Take a deep breath, stretch up, stretch down, feel two arms stretching opposite direction, natural traction. Push your left hip forward. With the help of your elbow, push your right knee back, touch your toes. Upper body turn or twist back, like spine twist. Left knee lock, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Turn your right foot in, turn your left foot out, parallel to the mirror. Inhale, breathing, bend your left knee down and bounce. And bounce, get down nice and low. No pain in the hips. Right hip a little forward, left knee back. Key to this posture is keeping your spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing, move both arms. Line up your elbow in front of the knee, elbow push the knee back, stretch down, touch between big and second toe, don't touch the floor. Now gently turn your head to look up at your right hand, 
so much better alignments people you got it stretch up stretch down feel your two arms stretching in one line natural traction push your right hip forward push your left knee back with the elbow elbow touch your toes upper body turn or twist back like spine twist right knee lock right foot flat on the floor inhale breathing come up turn your left foot in right leg back to the left feet together i'm so excited was that first or second set that was second set that was second set all right beautiful i'm so excited i got I forgot where we were. All right, standing separate leg. That's what happens when you're 85, okay, people? All right, just kidding. All right, standing separate leg, head to knee pose. Dandy Mana, Pipak Tabata, John Yushirasana. Feet together nicely. Arms over your side. Bring your palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Stretch up to the ceiling to lock your elbows. Imagine you're touching the ceiling. Elbows locked. Arms always with your ears. Right leg step to the right. Three feet. 36 inches. Turn and face the right side of the room, right side of your space, and just move your hips. One, two, three, four, five times. Get two hips in one line. Back foot at a 45 degree angle, two heels in one line. Exhale, breathing. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach, and you go down. Arms and head together. Touch your exact forehead to your knee. If forehead and knee are not touching, it's not a compromise. Bend your knee a little bit and push your fingertips into the floor beyond your toes, elbows, straight position. Exhale, breathing, eyes open, throat choke, breathing is normal. Put a little bit more body weight onto your front side leg. Just stick your right hip up, getting two hips in one line. Quickly lock your knee a couple of times. Hands, palms together, suck your stomach in, come up slowly, arms and head together, stomach, stomach, come up slowly. Turn and face the front, stop in the middle. Turn and face the front, stop in the middle. Turn 185 degrees to the left side of the room. And move just the hips. One, two, three, four, five times to get two hips in one line from a side view. Back foot at a 45 degree angle, two heels in one line. Exhale, breathing, tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach, you go down. Arms and head together, touch your exact forehead on your left knee. As a beginner, or if your knees not, if your forehead's not touching, bend your knee a little bit and put your fingertips into the floor beyond the toes, elbow straight position. Use your super strength to get forehead and knee to touch. Exhale, breathing, eyes open, throat choke, breathing your more body weight on to your left side leg. Just stick the left hip up. Nice, Lydia. Two hips in one line. Now quickly, with the help of your forehead, lock your knee, lock your knee, suck your stomach in. Come up slowly, arms and head together. Turn, face the front. Her right leg back to the left, feet together, arms down by your side. Good one. Second set, feet together nicely. Arms over your head sideways, palms together, just cross your thumbs. Hands and palms glued together, thumbs crossed. Stretch up to the ceiling, lock your elbows. Right foot step to the right, three feet, 36 inches. Your mat's two feet wide, basically, 36 inches. Turn, face the right side of the room. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times. Make sure your two hips are in one line. Two heels in one line. Now, tuck your chin to your chest. All these compressions, you're looking at your stomach, and you go down. Touch your exactly forehead on your right knee. As we get our forehead, not, knee not touching, bend your knee as much as you need to. Forehead and knee must touch. Push your fingertips into the floor. Get your thumbs closer to each other. Push your fingertips into the floor to lock your knees. You need your forehead a little higher on the knee, second set. Exhale, breathing, eyes open, throat choke, breathing, your normal body weight, right side, front leg. Just stick right hip up, two hips in one line. Nice technical adjustments, people. Quickly lock your knee a couple of times. Hands palm together, stomach, stomach. Come up nice and slow. Arms and head together. You got it. You got it. Turn, face the front, stop in the middle. Turn 185 degrees to the left side. Turn to the left, back foot 45 degree angle. Make sure your two hips are on one line and you go down, arms and head together. Tuck your chin, look at your stomach. Look at your stomach, you go down, arms and head together. Beautiful, Caroline. Touch your forehead on your knee. If forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee up and push your fingertips into the floor beyond your toes, elbows, straight position. Eyes open, throat choke. See, you can get forward a little higher on the knee. Eyes open, throat choke. A little more body weight on your front left leg to stick the left tip up, left tip up a tiny bit more way. You got it. Two hips in one line. Quickly lock your knee a couple of times. Hands, palms together. Thumbs crossed. Inhale, breathing. Come up slowly. Arms and head together. Turn and face the front. Right leg back to the left. Feet together. Arms down by your side. Let that one go. Take one step to the middle of your mat and towel for tree pose and toes. Stand almost on the floor. Nice work, folks. All right. Come back to where you started in one line, feet together, as we sometimes say, depending on the studio, feet together, toes on the line. 
arms down by your side. All right, we begin again with tree pose. Feet together nicely, concentrate one point in front of you. Tadasana. Grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Lift your right leg up as high as possible. Heel touching, imagine a bikini costume. Now always slowly, gently with your right knee, let it come down. Gently let your right knee come down. Push your hips forward, push your knee back to get two hips and knees in one line. Same principle as triangle. Suck your stomach in, stretch your spine up to the ceiling, two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line, two knees in one line. First, right hand to the center of your chest. Hands, palms together in Namaskar. If your foot slips at all, continue to hold it. Stomach in, spine straight, concentrate, meditate. Left knee locked, left thigh contracted, balance and change. Feet together nicely. Grab your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Whole leg lifts up as high as possible. Heel touching the costume, now always gentle with your knees. Slowly, gently let your knee come down. Push your hips forward, push your knee back to get two knees in one line from a side view. Same principle as triangle, suck your stomach in, stretch your spine up to the ceiling. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line, two knees in one line. First, left hand to the center of your chest. Hands palms together and namaskar if your foot slips, hold it. Stomach in, spine stay, keep stretching, keep stretching. Right knee locked, right thigh contracted. And change, change. Toe stand. Focus one point on the floor, four feet in front of you. Pick up your right foot and place it on your thigh, wherever it's comfortable. The foot has to be on the thigh, wherever it's comfortable. You got to keep the focus four feet in front of you. Hands, palms, and namaskar. Bend your body forward from the lower spine and place your hands on the floor in front of you. When your hands touch down, bend your left knee and sit on your heel. Bend your left knee, put your hands down to protect you. Bend your left knee, sit on your heel. Bring your fingertips to the side of you, balancing off your fingertips. Everybody stretch up, two knees parallel to four, two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Imagine and pulling your hair to the ceiling. Concentrate, meditate. First, left hand to the center of your chest. You can bounce there. Then right hand, hands together in namaskar. Concentrate, meditate, balance. And change. Come back up the reverse way you went into it. Come back up, reverse way you went into it. And left side, feet together, feet together. Focus one point, four feet in front of you. Pick up your left foot, place it on your thigh, wherever it's comfortable. The foot has to be on the thigh, not over, not under. Foot on thigh. Hands, palms together in Namaskar. Bend your body forward from your lower spine and place your hands on the floor in front of you. Come on, reach for it. It's not how you go down. We're not even in posture yet. Just put your hands on the floor and bend your knee. There we go. Once we bend the knee, we're in the posture. Bend your knee. Now bring your fingertips to the side of you, balancing off the fingertips. Two hips in one spot, two hips in one line, two knees parallel to the floor. Stretch your spine up to the ceiling, natural human traction. First, left hand to the center of your chest. Hands, palms together in Namaskar. Concentrate, meditate. Balance. Nice, Teresa. And change. Come back up. The reverse way. Always use, always use your hands for support. Always use your hands for support on that one to go in and out. All right, unless you're taking an advanced class. Everybody turn around. Woohoo! Lie down on your mat and towel in bed body pose. Savasana. That was the standing part of the warm up. And now we're going to do the rest of the yoga on the floor for the spines, for the whole, uh, the deeper yoga, actually. The standing series is really just designed as a warm up. It's, it, it doesn't have, it goes one thing into the next so that you're warming up your body. And then you take it to the floor with the deeper postures of stillness and then having a break, 20 second break in between, so you can get the blood circulation back to the joints, back to the body, so that it's always healing. It's an amazing thing, 90 minute Bikram class, so good, especially with the heat, is really, really important for your well being, the health of your spine, body, mind, balancing. It's always about balance or flexibility. Andre, are you still doing? toe stand. <laughs>
<laughs> Looks like you're still in toe stand. All right. It's so cool. I can't see. I wish I could see everybody unless I flip through the thing, which I just, okay, I'll flip through and just say, love, love you all. All right. This is very special, people. It's a one shot rare. Oh, Andrew's in. One shot rare appearance because I really do believe the hot room is vital. And I, I don't want people ever getting hurt in their practice. It's always about taking care of yourself and being good to yourself. That's always the most important. Teacher's the least important person in the room. It's all about the student. I'm just here to teach you and give you as much information as I can give you. And that's kind of helpful working with Diane and also having visited, gone back to teacher trainings at least 10 or 11 times always learning so it's a wonderful thing all right we will if you're new we will always come back it's a two minute transition to the floor and we will always come back to this dead body pose for only 20 seconds heels touch feet fall open arms and close to the body to pick a spot to stare at on the ceiling and always eyes open breathing normal and always lie still open-eyed meditation for 90 minutes close your eyes you send a different message to your body Let's begin again. Wind removing pose, Pavan Muktasana. Right leg lift up to your right shoulder, hold two inches below your knee with a 10 finger interlocked grip. Pull your knee to your right shoulder, completely avoiding your rib cage. If your left calf muscles come off the floor, do a quick flex of your toes. Chin down, neck flat on the floor, elbows in close to the body. Relax your shoulders down, pull hard and freeze. Don't move, can't even blink. You got to pull a little harder, make the hip joint hurt, create maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change arms and leg down. Immediately left leg lift up, hold two inches below your knee, 10 finger interlock grip, pull your knee to your left shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage, chin down, neck flat, elbows in close to the body, every relax your shoulders, pull hard and freeze. Now you're in the posture, you got to freeze it. Eyes open, breathing normal. You got to pull a little harder, make the hip joint hurt, maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change, arms and leg down. Immediately, both legs lift up. Grab your elbows each other two inches below your knees. You want to be nice and compact. Knees together, feet relaxed, position side by side, chin down, neck flat, shoulders relaxed, freeze there, eyes open, breathing normal. Eventually, as you improve your skeletal system, each and every bone joint enough, one day, whole spine will be relaxed on the floor. Change, Savasana. Heels touch, feet fall open, palms face up, head straight, eyes always open, breathing always normal, slowly in through the nose and out through the nose. Breathing through the nose calms your nervous system, keeps everything in balance, especially when you're struggling with the Heat, normal breathing is in through the nose and out through the nose. Let's do second set wind removing pose. Right, that was a line. Right leg lift up to your right shoulder, hold two inches below your knee, 10 finger interlock grip, pull your knee to your right shoulder, avoid the rib cage, go to where you left off in the first set, left calf muscle must be on the floor, flex your foot if you need to. Now work your chin down, get thyroid compression, work the neck, nice Lydia, chin down. Now everybody relax both shoulders to the floor, relax your shoulders, pull hard and freeze. Eyes open, breathing normal, pull a little harder, press down a little more, maximum pressure on your ascending colon. Change, arms and leg down, arms and leg down. Immediately left leg lift up, hold. Two inches below your knee, 10 finger interlock grip, pull your knee. You wanna avoid the rib cage completely as if you're gonna to touch the knee to the shoulder, right calf muscle on the floor. Chin down, neck flat, elbows in. Now every relax your shoulders even more. Relax shoulders down. Freeze, eyes open, breathing normal, pull a little harder, press down just a little more, maximum pressure on your descending colon. Change, arms and leg down. Immediately both legs lift up, grab your elbows each other two inches below your knees, you wanna be nice and compact. Knees together, feet relaxed, position side by side. So chin down, let you allow your neck to relax. You're not pushing anything, you're letting gravity help. Relax the spine, relax your chin, relax your neck. Whole spine one day will be flat on the floor, maximum pressure on the transverse colon. Change, heels touch, feet fall open, palms face up, eyes always open, breathing always normal, 20 second rest. I know, Shangu, it feels good. Savasana, darling. 
You think I can't see you? I see everything. Who does that sound like? All right, the beautiful compression for your whole intestinal series. All right, we're going to do a straight legged sit up. Let's go for it. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the forearms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk, exhale. Touch your head to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, lie on your stomach for the cobra pose. The spine strengthening series, lie down on your belly. Cobra pose, Pujangasana. Place your chin forward on your mat. Bring your hands right next to your chest. Line up your fingertips with your shoulders. Pinky inside the deltoid, five fingers together now. Really important, glue it down. Glue your hand palm flat on the floor. Distribute your body weight equally the same all over the palm of the hand. Don't roll it, palm, weight evenly distributed on palm of the hand. Start to finish, you have one leg like a cobra tail. Don't open it, feet and heels together, feet stay on the floor. Elbows in, close to the body, drop your shoulders down towards your mat. Inhale, breathing, look up and lift. Upper body off the floor, every come up. Come up till only your belly button is touching at the same time. You gotta use your hands, use your hands, come up to your belly button. You gotta get into the lower back, stay there. All right, El elbows look like a 90 degree angle, like an L rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips to bring your shoulders down, trapezius muscles visible in there. Now everybody come up a couple of inches. Back is supposed to hurt. Chest up, look up, go up, hold it, and slowly come down. Look to the right side of the room, left ear on the towel, let it go, let it go, let it go. So two postures that distinguish Bikram yoga from all other yogas is Bikram's triangle and his cobra. His cobra, 100% of the body weight is distributed on the palm of the hand and it's very active. Once you engage the palm of the hand, you're sending the energy into the lower back. You're building the strength in the tricep and bicep. So I know, I'm not quite sure how it got spread, but 100% body weight distributed. That's why we take a long time to set up the palms of the hand so they're active. Second set. Chin forward on your mat, bring your hands next to your chest. Line up your fingertips with your shoulders, five fingers together, pinky inside the delta. Now everybody glue the hand to the floor, glue it down. They don't move anymore. This is the key. Distribute body weight equally the same all over the palm of the hand. Start to finish, make a tight cobra tail. Tight, tight leg, feet stay on the floor. One leg, hip muscles contracted, feet on the floor. Now bring elbows into the body and drop your shoulders down. Feel the strength in your palms. Inhale, breathing, look up and lift. Upper body, upper body is 100% back strength. Everybody got to come up till only belly button is touching at the same time. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle like an L rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips. Arms touch the body to bring the shoulders down. Trapezius muscles visible in the mirror. And everybody come up a little more. Chest up, look up, go up. Back is supposed to hurt. Hold it. Slowly lower down. Much better second set. Bring your arms down by your side. Look to the left side of your room. Arms down by your side, toes touch, heels drop open, palms face up, relax, just let it go. Beautiful blood circulation back to the lumbar spine. Systematically, we work the spine in the spine strengthening series, lower back, upper back, middle back, and then the total spine. That was for your lower back, cobra, beautiful, beautiful postures. Let's work the shoulders and the upper arms and the upper back. Locust pose, arms straight position. With your palms facing the floor, bring your arms completely invisible underneath your body. Elbows, straight position, little pinkies touching side by side. Elbows might hurt a little bit. You got it. They have to be straight before they go under the body and chin forward on your mat. Chin forward on your mat. Relax your left leg completely. Lock your right knee. Point your right toes. Take an inhale breath. Right leg lift up. 45 degree minimum, half of 90. Lock your knees. Point your toes, arms and back should hurt a little bit. Leg up, go up, more up, slowly lower down. Don't bend your knee to get for height. You gotta keep the knee locked. Relax your right leg completely, lock your left knee, point your left toes, take an inhale breath, left leg big. Lift off the floor, 45 degree minimum. Make sure the knee's straight, feel the knee stretching, feel the knee stretching, lock your knee. Arms and back hurt a little bit, grab the floor with your fingertips. Everybody leg up, go up, more up, slowly lower down. Both legs, listen carefully, turn your mouth into the towel. Readjust your arms, elbows closer to each other. Elbows uh, closer to each other, little pinkies touching side by side. 
grab the floor with your fingertips. When you grab the floor with your fingertips, it really helps carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, grab the floor with your fingertips. Without bending your knees, take an inhale breath and lift both legs. Both legs off the floor, everybody come up. Everybody go up, lock your knees, point your toes, struggle harder, don't give up. Inhale, breathing, go up, come up, more up. Slowly lower down. Arms out from under you, look to the right, left ear on the towel, palms face up, let it go. Beautiful high speed oxygenated blood going back to the wrists, the elbows, the heart. It's amazing how a 10 second posture can activate your circulation, your heart, your mind. Make sure the knees lock. Don't go for height if it's going to compromise the integrity of the posture. And make sure elbows are straight before they go into the body. Second set. Arms straight position, palms facing the floor. Bring your arms completely invisible underneath the body. Elbows locked position. Little pinkies touching side by side and place your chin forward on the mat. Chase your chin forward on the mat. Get the hands under a little more second set if you can. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Relax your left leg completely. Every lock your right knee. Set it up by lock your right knee first. Point your toes. Take an inhale breath. Right leg lift up for one, two, three. Highest point by the end, four, five, Six, stretch the knee joint even more. Eight, nine, ten. Slowly lower down. Relax your right leg, right hip completely. Lock your left knee, point your left toes. Inhale, breathing, left leg lift up. One, two, three. Stretch the knee, stretch the knee even more, Lydia, if you can. You got it. Not so high, but stretch the knee. Seven, it'll connect to the back even more. Nine, eight, six, two, ten. And slowly lower down. Both legs. Turn your mouth in on the towel. Readjust your arms. Any correction I give to one person is probably a correction for all of you. So it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Little pinkies touching side by side. Now turn your mouth in on the towel. Mouth in on the towel. Without bending your knees, take an inhale breath and lift. Both legs off the floor for one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, higher, eight, lock your knees, point your toes, nine, ten, slowly lower down. Bring your arms out from under you. Look to the left side of the room, right ear on the towel, relax, recover, Savasana. Beautiful circulation right back to the wrists, the elbows, the heart. Always allow yourself to be totally relaxed in dead body pose. All right, systematically working this one. I'm going to work the upper back now with full locust. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Place your chin forward on that. Chin forward on that. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Five fingers together, palms flat to the floor. Arms out like beautiful airplane wings. You've got it. From start to finish, you have one leg. Hip muscles, solid, concrete. Toes and heels touching. Feet together, feet together. Take an inhale breath and slowly, gently lift off arms, legs, head. 747, taking off. Arms up, arms back, fingertips in line with the top of your head, only hip bones balancing on the floor. And just up, just up, look up, go up, come up. Exhale, breathing, come up one more time. Slowly lower down. Look to the right side of the room, left ear on the towel, arms down by your side, palms face up, head straight, eyes always open, just not head straight, head twisted. I know, twisted head, how could we all, well, that's probably something. This yoga, I mean, we all came to this yoga for so many beautiful different reasons and we all have a story to tell. That to me is the power of this yoga. So just relax. Keep your arms in line with your shoulders. You're gonna get more mileage out of the upper back. Some of you are taking the arms so far back that you're disconnecting the shoulder from the back. So really use the arms. You're fighting against uh, gravity. Um, all right, and second set, I have one more thing to tell you and I just lost it. That's what happens when you're 70. What can I tell you folks? Second set, chin on your mat, arms out to the side, airplane wings, five fingers together, palms flat to the floor. So get nice strong arms. You want to feel the whole upper back engage. From start to finish, you have one leg, feet and heels together, hip muscles, solid concrete, one leg. Take a deep breath, look up and lift, arms, legs, head, 747, taking off. Arms up, arms back, fingertips in line with the top of the head, only hip bones balancing on the floor, chest up, chest up, look up, body up, come up, go up, exhale, breathing, come up one more time. Slowly down, much better second set. Look to the left side of the room, right here on the towel, relax and recover. It's true, when a teacher gives a uh, correction to somebody to just help them understand the posture better, 
It's not calling a person out if it's doing it with kindness and love to help them not hurt themselves. But a correction for one is often a correction for a lot of people in the room. All right, let's do the whole spine called bow pose. Bow pose, whole spine engaged. Shin forward on the mat. Hold your feet from the outside, two inches below your toes, five fingers included in the grip, thumbs included with the other fingers, thumbs included in the grip. Wrist straight, elbows straight position, shoulders relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Knees and legs are six inches apart. Body looks like two wheels in one base. Take a deep breath and slowly, gently kick your legs up off the floor. Kick up, kick back, look up, look up, kick up, kick your legs back. Continuously keep kicking every roll forward. Roll forward to your toes are in the center from a side view. Roll forward, roll forward, stay there. Look up more, kick back harder. Wrist straight, pointed toes, knees in more. Look up, kick up, kick back harder. Change, slowly, gently lower down, slowly, gently. He says slowly, gently so many times. Look to the right side of the room, left ear on the towel, relax, recover, beautiful circulation back to the spine. So this posture is driven by the kick. Everybody take a deep breath, slowly, gently, kick your legs up behind you and then look up. It's driven by the kick, then looking up, rolling forward to try and get your feet in the center from the side activates the spine muscles even deeper every step of the way in that posture just gets deeper 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 till the very end let's do second set word by word chin forward on the mat hold your feet from the outside two inches below your toes five fingers included in the grip thumbs included in the grip don't lose the grip wrist straight pointed toes shoulders relaxed elbows straight position Take a deep breath, slowly, gently kick your legs up off the floor and look up. Look up, kick up, kick your legs back continuously, keep kicking. Roll forward, every roll forward, roll forward to your feet are in the center from the side, look up more. Kick back harder, wrist straight, pointed toes, knees in more, look up, kick up, kick back harder and slowly lower down. Look to the left side of the room, right here on the towel, relax, recover, dead body pose. You're doing great, people, really nice. Really nice. I'm thrilled you're sharing your practices with me today. All right. Lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine covered. Let's do fix firm. Come to the top of your mat, sit kneeling position. Starts out, knees and feet together. Kneeling, Japanese. Knees are different every day. Come to the top of your mat, sit kneeling position. All right. Open your feet, separate your feet, put your hips on the floor. Heel of your foot must touch your hip. As a beginner, or if your knees, feet, or ankles hurt, open your knees more and more and more. Place your hands on your feet, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside, right elbow down, left elbow down, head down, back of the head, whole body relaxed on the floor. Grab your elbows each other over your head, pull your elbows down to the floor, chin down, neck flat, shoulders relaxed, freeze there, taking way too much time to get into it. The posture doesn't start till the head's down. Grab your elbows other, chin down, neck flat, shoulders relax, 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 whole spine relax. Now lift stomach, chest up to the ceiling, create perfect human bridge. Eventually knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Put your hands back on your feet with the help of your elbows, carefully come up. Turn around, lie down, dead body pose on your back. Heels touch, feet full open, palms face up. Eyes always open, breathing always normal, beautiful oxygenated blood going back to the ankles, knees, wrists, all of those beautiful parts. Wherever you create a compression creates that beautiful blood flush and circulation. Second set, legs together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, double jerk, exhale, head to the knees, elbows to the floor, turn around for fixed firm, take two. Come to the top of your mat, sit kneeling position, Japanese style, knees and feet together. Come to the top of the mat, knees together. Separate your feet, open your feet, put your hips on the floor, heel of your foot must touch your hip, hip, knees, feet or ankles hurt, open your knees more and more. Now don't worry about going down, just stay with me. Place your hands on your feet and just drop right elbow down a little bit outside the foot, right elbow down outside the foot, left elbow down. Don't start arching people, just you've got, the goal is to lie down. Whole, okay, back of the head, whole body relaxed on the floor. You go into this totally relaxed, totally spine relaxed. Grab your elbows each other over your head, grab your elbows, pull your elbows down towards the floor. You've got it much better. Chin down, neck flat, 
shoulders relaxed, eyes open, throat choked, breathing normal. Now we lift stomach and chest up to the ceiling to see what the body range is from the relaxed position, creating perfect human bridge. Eventually knees together, knees never come off the floor. Put your hands back on your feet with the help of your elbows. Carefully come up. You got it. Ooh, I know. Turn around, lie down. Savasana. Savasana. Let it go. Totally relax, recover. Just breathe. Just breathe. Lucas, oh, what a treat to see you, baby. Boy, I miss you. All right. Now I'm getting to see who in the house. I guess, all right, Sandia, it must feel so good. It's wonderful to see you again. All right, let's do a sit-up. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the forearms, over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk, exhale. Head to knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for half tortoise pose, or to Kamatsana, face to the front of the room. Sit on kind of an earlier mat, sit kneeling position, Japanese style, knees and feet together, toss the feet flat on the floor, arms over your head sideways, hands, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Stretch up to the ceiling to lock your elbows, chin up. Now, key to the posture. Keep your hips on your heels. Exhale, breathing stomach in, you go down. You go down, front side. Touch your exactly forehead on the floor. Only the pinkies touching elbows are in the air. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. Make sure your shoulders hurt. Shoulders scapula stretching out of the body. Eyes are open. Freeze there, folks. Keep stretching. Eyes are open. Breathing's normal. Hips always on your heels. Stomach and spine straight. Stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, come up. Arms and head together. And arms down by your side. Turn around, lie down. Dead body pose, 20 seconds. Beautiful posture. Stretching the shoulders, scapula out of the body so that it can prepare you for camel. Opening up the shoulders. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. All right. Just breathe. Eyes open. Carol, you made it. Oh, my darling. All right. Love this. I just love this. Oh, you beautiful people. All right, second set, half tortoise pose. Legs together, flex your feet, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk, grab big toe, exhale. Touch your head to your knees, elbows to the floor. Half tortoise pose, take two. Turn around, come to the middle of your mat, sit kneeling position, Japanese style, knees and feet together, tops the feet flat on the floor. Arms over your head sideways, hands palms together, only your thumbs are crossed. From Becker in this beautiful soul, sunlight. To uh, hip now. I'm challenging everybody to go down, not any way you think, but just keeping your hips on your heels and see what that does. And you go down, arms and head together. Go down, keep your hips on your heels, hips on heels, hips on heels. And now just touch your forehead, touch your forehead. Let the body relax down. Let the body relax down. Only think he's touching, elbows are in the air. Now stretch your arms, elbows towards the mirror. Make sure your shoulders hurt. Shoulders, scapula stretching out of the body. Eyes are open, chin away from the chest, breathing. Normal stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, hips always on your heels and stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together. Nicely done. Arms down side, turn around, lie down, Savasana. You got it. Heels touch, feet fall open. Palms face up, head straight, eyes always open, breathing always normal. Daisy from LA, from Long Beach. Oh my goodness, and Monica made it. Monica and Luna, oh my word, this is very special. You guys are beautiful. All right, up car, I see your picture. <laughs> All right, let's do a sit up for camel. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk. Cut your edge, your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, come to the top of your mat and stand up on your knees. We're gonna do this word by word, not before, not after. Come to the top of your mat. Stand up on your knees and open your knees six inches between your knees and feet. Six inches between knees and feet. Place your hands on your hips. Thumbs on the outside, fingers pointing down. We'll do it word by word together. Take a deep breath and just push your hips forward and drop your head back as far as it goes. Go back halfway, lean back halfway, stop in the middle, first only, right hand to the right heel, thumb on the outside, fingers on the inside, left hand to the left heel, thumb on the outside, fingers on the inside, get a good pull, hand palm grip, don't lose the grip, go back with your thighs, Lydia, you'll grab easier, go back with your thighs, go back with your thighs, go back, you got it, get a good grip, don't lose the grip, exhale, breathing and push, stomach, hips, thighs forward towards the mirror, push more, push harder, make sure your back hurts, I want a 360 degree backward bend for gravitation. 
Put your hands on your hips to come out of it. Chest up, spine straight, inhale, come up head last. Turn around, lie down, dead body pose. If you feel dizzy, nauseous, overwhelmed, it's all normal. Camel excites the entire central nervous system, opens the heart, the lungs. It can be overwhelming for people, it can be joyful for people. But uh, I don't know anybody who ever comes out of camel and doesn't feel something. So rather than backward bending into camel, I want you to lean back so that you shorten the gap between your shoulder and arm and everybody can grab their heel and then you really do your push. Let's try it. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the forearms, over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, double jerk, head to knee, elbows to the floor. So if we do it word by word, it'll really make sense. Come to the top of your mat, second set. Stand up on your knees, stand up on your knees. This time you can open your knees a little bit wider. Make sure your feet are six inches. You wanna be sure your feet line up with your shoulders so you're not rotating the shoulder inward. Feet line up with your shoulders at six inches approximately. Every, every angle and number is relative in Bikram Yoga to your individual body. Nobody looks the same. Hands on your hips, thumbs on the outside, fingers pointing down, word by word. Take an inhale breath and just push your hips forward a little bit. Just the hips move and just drop your head back, drop. No back, no, no lifting the chest, just drop your head. Now go back, hinge back from your thighs, lean back halfway, stop in the middle. Engage your thigh muscles, and get, you got it, engage your thighs. Right hand, reach for the right heel, thumb on the outside, fingers on the inside, left hand, left heel, thumb on the outside, fingers on the inside, get a good full hand palm grip, don't lose the grip. Exhale, breathing and push, stomach, hips, thighs forward towards the mirror, push more. Push harder, make sure your back hurts. I want a 360 degree backward bend for gravitation. Put your hands on your hips, chest up, spine straight. Inhale, come up head last. Much better. Turn around, lie down. Dead body pose, let it go. Heels touch, feet fall open. Let it go, let it go. Beautiful work, making the spine completely stronger really using the compression in the back muscles to get stronger, opening the front, and then we do rabbit to reverse the stretch of the spine, you know, the front compression of the spine where we really work to open the back. Let's do a sit up for rabbit. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the forearms, over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, double jerk, grab big toe, exhale, touch your head to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for rabbit pose. Come to the middle of your mat and towel, sit kneeling position Japanese style. Knees and feet together, the tops of feet are flat on the floor. Take the corners of your towel, bring them over your feet to get a nice dry grip on your heel. You probably have a grip whether you have the towel or not. Don't lose the grip unless you're in a hot room. Pull on your heels, tuck your chin to your toes, look at your stomach, you go down. Touch your forehead to your knees automatically, top of the head to the floor. Exhale, breathing, pull on your heels, lift your hips up and roll forward like a wheel till your elbows, arms are straight position. If there's a gap between your forehead and knees, walk your knees up one by one, keep pulling. Pulling's the object of stretching. Eyes open, throat choke, breathing normal, shoulders away from the ears. Suck your stomach in, pull harder, hips up more. Inhale, come up. Inhale, come up. Turn around, lie down, Savasana. Beautiful thing, folks. So all these postures have an A, then B, then C. Some of them have a D, depending on the posture. A is always a setup. B is working alignment and technique. C is always where you go to your deepest point. If you go to your deepest point from the beginning, you have no place to go. And also you get, if you go so deep at the beginning, you lose the alignment because you haven't taken time to fix the alignment and adjustment. That's one of the things I really did a lot of lectures at the teacher training on. The setup, alignment, depth. Let's do a sit up, second rabbit. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the forearms, over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, double jerk, grab big toe. Exhale, touch your head, your knees, elbows to the floor. Rabbit, take two. Turn around, face the front of your room. Sit kneeling position, Japanese style. Take the corners of your towel, bring them over your feet, get a nice dry grip on your heel, thumb on the outside, fingers on the inside, don't lose the grip. 
You lose the grip, it's over, folks. Pull on your heels, tuck your chin, your chest, look at your stomach, you go down. You go down, just go down. Touch your forehead to your knees automatically, top of the edge of the floor. Exhale, breathing. Pull on your heels, lift your hips up, roll forward like a wheel tilt. Your elbows, arms are straight position. If there's a gap between forehead and knees, walk your knees up one by one. Eyes are open, throat is chirped. Breathing's normal. First your upper spine stretching, then middle spine, then lower spine. Suck your stomach in. Heels closer to each other. Pull harder. Hips up more. Inhale. Come up. Turn around. Lie down. Savasana. 20 second rest. Beautiful circulation right back to the spine. Head straight. Palms up. Eyes always open. Breathing always normal. Relax. Recover. That's why we say the real yoga is on the floor because you get the rest to continuously flush the parts that you are doing. Second set, so important in this yoga because first set is your diagnostic. Second set is where you learn from your first set to go deeper or sometimes have to do less in the second set. First set always informs you of what you need to do for the second set. Let's do head to knee with stretching a sit up. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the forms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk, exhale, touch your head to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, face the front of your space, your room, your mirror, face the front. And head to knee with stretching. Right leg out corner wise, bend your left foot, bend your left leg in so that your foot is touching your thigh bicep, the heel of the foot touching your costume, 90 degree angle. Ajini, you're a little too wide in your legs, a little too wide. Bring your right leg in. Right leg in, right leg in, right leg, right leg. You got it. So that both hips can be anchored on the floor. All right. Uh, head to knee. Arms over your head sideways. Turn to your right. Grab your right foot two inches below your toes. Ten finger interlock grip. Pull your toes back like rabbit. Tuck so your heel comes off the floor like rabbit. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to the knee. If, knee, if forehead and knee are not touching now, bend your knee up a little bit. So forehead and knee touch. Freeze there. Eyes open. Throat is choked. Breathing normal. Work your elbows down towards your calf muscle, in and down, in and down towards the calf muscle, left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll in, roll in. Get your head close with your stomach, left knee flat on the floor and push your knee down. Change. Left leg out corner wise, bend your right leg in. Feel pressure of the right foot against the left thigh bicep, 90 degree angle on your legs, 90 degree angle. You wanna really feel both hips anchored. It's getting you ready for a spine twist. Both hips anchored, arms over your head. Turn to your left, grab your left foot two inches below the toes, 10 finger interlock, grip, pull your toes back, flex your heel in the air, just like rabbit. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your exact forward on your knee, bend your knee as much you need to forward, and knee must touch, freeze there. Eyes open, throat choke, breathing normal, elbows in and down, towards your calf muscle, right elbow down, right shoulder down, roll in, roll in, get your head close with your stomach, right knee flat on the floor, and push your knee down. Change. Both legs out in front of you for the sit up. Lie down when your back touches the floor. Inhale, sit up immediately. Head to the knee, elbows to the floor. Take your index and middle finger, grab your big toe over the top. Pull on your big toe as hard as possible and walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. 15 times until you lock your knees. Lock your knees. Once your knees are locked, flex your feet back towards your face. Heel come off the floor. Then only... Bend your elbows down towards the floor. Chin up. Look at yourself in the mirror. Exhale, breathing. Bring the body down and pull harder. Pull more. Body down. Stretch from your lower spine. Your goal is to touch your forehead to your feet. Change. Turn around. Lie down. Savasana. There's a consistent theme when the legs stretch. First your legs stretch, then your hips lower back, middle back. So the legs don't stretch until you get your heels off the floor in that final stretching. There's your A. Your B is then pulling on the toe and going down and trying to get the head to the toes, you know. So A then B. First you got to lock the knee and flex the toes back. When the heel comes off the floor, we say then only. All right, second set. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Inhale, sit up, double jerk. Exhale, touch your head to your knees, elbows on the floor. Take two, 
Turn around, face the mirror, face, okay. Right leg out corner, which just goes to the corner of the mat, not too wide. Then your left foot in, feel the heel touching your costume, sole of foot touching your thigh, bicep, 90 degree angle on your legs. Arms over your head sideways, turn to your right, grab your right foot two inches below your toes, pull your toes back, flex your heel in the air just like rabbit. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to your knee. If forehead and knee are not touching, bend your knee up a little bit to touch forehead and knee, freeze there. Eyes open, throat choke, breathing, or more work your elbows in and down towards your calf muscle. Left elbow down, left shoulder down. See if you can get your head close with your stomach. Head closer and push your knee down. Change. Left leg out corner wise, bend your right leg in. Feel pressure of the foot against the thigh. 90 degree angle, all relative, 90 degree angle. Arms over your head sideways. Turn to your left, grab your left foot two inches below the toes, pull your toes back, grab the toes, 10 finger in the lock grip, pull your toes back, flex your heel knee like rabbit, look at your stomach, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your exact forward on your knee, bend your knee as much as you need to, forward and knee, must touch, freeze there. Eyes open, throat choke, breathing normal, work your elbows in and down. Eyes open, breathing normal. So you can get your head closer to your stomach and push your knee down, change. Both legs out in front of you for the sit up. Lie down when your back touches the floor. Take a nice inhale breath and sit up. Double jerk, exhale. Head to knee, elbows to the floor. All right. Grab your big toe with your index and middle finger. Two peace fingers. Grab the big toe. Pull on your big toe as hard as possible and walk your hips back. You, you're walking your hips back right and left, right and left, right and left until you lock your knees. You might take a lifetime. Walk your hips back right, left, right, left, right, left until you lock your knees. Lock your knees. Once your knees are locked, flex your toes back towards your face. Heel must come off the floor. All 10 toes flexing back, not pigeon toe. All 10 toes flexing back. When the heels come off the floor, then only bend your elbows down towards the floor. Exhale, breathing. Bring the stomach to the thighs. Chest to knees. Bring the body down. Body down. Pull more. Pull harder. First leg stretch, then hips. Lower back, middle back. Lengthen from the lower spine even more. Even more. Your goal is to touch your forehead to your feet change beautiful second set people turn around lie down we got one posture left one breathing exercise boy has this been a special treat for me really wonderful one posture one breathing exercise left for you lie down relax it's interesting i feel like i'm having a workout on a cellular level you guys are really inspiring me i just wish i could see you in person <laughs> all right another sit up legs together flex your feet heels on the forearms over your head thumbs crossed inhale sit up double jerk red big toe exhale touch your head to your knees final spine twist face the left side of your room and bend your left knee so it's facing the side wall that you're facing bring your right foot over your left knee put your right foot flat on the floor foot flat on the floor so your heel h-e-e-l lines up with your knee now Settle into both hips comfortably to get your spine perfectly straight, perpendicular. Bring your left arm up and over your right knee with the help of your elbow. Push your knee back, turn your wrist, grab your folded knee, look down your left arm. Your hand, your heel, and your knee should all be in the same spot, one spot. Lift your chest up, open your rib cage, wrap your right arm behind the back, try to grab the opposite thigh. As a beginner, if you're going to ultimately topple over, put your fingertips on the floor. Lift your chest up, open your ribcage, and now look over your right shoulder. Look way, way back. Look way, way back. Each and every vertebra is twisting from top to bottom like the beads of a pearl necklace. Stretch up a little bit more. Look further back and twist, twist, twist. Last chance, twist. Change it up. Bend your right knee under. Step your left foot over the right knee. Sit into both hips. Settle into the hips, folks. Settle in. Get your left foot flat on the floor and line up your heel with your knee. Sit into both hips comfortably. Bring your right arm up and over your knee. With the help of your right elbow, push your knee back. Turn your wrist. Grab the folded knee. Look down your right arm. Hand, heel, knee, all three things touching in the same spot. Lift your chest up, open the rib cage, wrap your left arm behind the back, try to grab your opposite thigh or fingertips to the floor. If you can get your arm behind your back, you must. Lift your chest up, open your rib cage, and now head is the last thing to move. Look over your left shoulder. Look way, way back. Twisting from top to bottom, the beads of a pearl necklace, actually the bottom to the top. Each and every vertebra twisting like a pearl necklace. Stretch up even more, look further back and twist, 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 last chance, twist. Change, turn around, lie down. 26 postures complete, beautiful. We have one breathing exercise left. So 20 second rest, 
20 second rest, always in Savasana, heels touch, feet full open, arms in close to the body. The heels touching might be uncomfortable for some people, but 90 minutes in the hot room, usually you're out of your comfort zone and that's how the body really changes beautifully. Plus by keeping the heels touching, it really sets your legs up for the sit up. Let's do final sit up for Kapalabhati breathing. Legs together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, inhale, sit up, double jerk, exhale. Touch your head to your knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, sit Japanese style for Kapalabhati breathing. We started with pranayama, deep breathing. We end with Kapalabhati breathing, good for your abdominals and your inner organs. All right, so listen carefully. Turn around, sit kneeling position, tops of the feet flat on the floor, elbows lock position, palms on the knees. We're gonna blow through the lips as hard as possible, pulling the belly in on each exhale. The inhales happen automatically. Chest up, shoulders relaxed, exhaling only, belly loose to start. Concentrate, meditate. Bye Robin, love you, love you, love you. Belly loose, shoulders relaxed, lift your chest up and start, please. Lick your lips, that's the first step. Second set a little quicker, swallow a couple of times. Second set a little quicker, stronger, elbows locked, palms on the knees. <laughs> Thank you, clap away from the speaker. All right, I just moved back. Was that a little loud? No, it's okay, a little softer. I didn't realize I was clapping so loud. I was loud to me too though. All right, swallow once, belly loose, concentrate, meditate, and start. Please. That's enough. All right, everybody turn around, lie down, Savasana. I've gone over by about 10 minutes. We started about six minutes late, but if you can stay with me for one more, two more minutes to get your final meditation, I'd love to do a little reading that I have often done. It's a reading I've actually done at the last few teacher trainings. That's a reading from Deepak Chopra. Deepak Chopra, um, Lift Your Spirits. It's a beautiful, beautiful passage. So dead body pose, heels, actually no heels touch. This is your final two minutes of your class. You can lie down, whatever you need to do. It's your final closure to your practice. We finish when we end with Kapalabhati breathing. This two minutes is your own to just let everything relax, your feet, your knees, your hips, your belly, and just slow your breathing down. Get to close your eyes now. Close your eyes, relax and recover. This is by Deepak Chopra. And how do you know when you are free? You know you are free when you feel happy and at ease instead of fearful and anxious. You know you are free when you are independent of the good and bad opinions of others, when you have relinquished the need to seek approval, when you believe that you are good enough as you are. You know you are free when you surrender to the moment, to, to what is, and trust that the universe is on your side. You know you are free when you let go of resentments and grievances and choose to forget. Forgive, I'm reading Upkar. All right, and choose to forgive. All right, close your eyes, slow, low, slow flow, inhale and exhale. It has been an absolute honor to serve you this morning. To all the teachers that are certified Bikram teachers, Diane and I will do a Q&A July 9th at noon. Reservations important. Um, you can write me or Diane to find out you know, more about it when I set up the link. And um, I'd like to thank Upkar and Jackie for 
their help. Jackie left, which has been my right hand on a lot of administrative stuff. And Upa, I am very grateful that you put this whole thing together for me. Um, it's an honor. And I send you all peace and love on your journey today. Have a beautiful day. All right. Thank you, Margie. Love you. Oh, this was, oh, Andrew, I hear your voice. I love you back, baby. Really, you guys just wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. My absolute pleasure. Bye, Jeannie. All right. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. It's a rare occasion for me. <laughs> and it was wonderful. All right. I can't wait Thank to see you. you in the Boston area when you visit us. Thank you, Thank you. When we open, we are continuing Ed 101 all the way. Thank you. Thank you, Margie. Thank you, Margie. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Margie. Love Thank you. you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're Come welcome. to Ireland. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, you right. say goodbye. I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Come visit us as soon as we open, right near Diane. We'd love to see you. We're sure. always mentoring, we're always growing with you. Heaven. Thank you, Margie. Thank, Thank you, you so Margie. much. Thank, Thank you. you. You're so welcome. Much. Have a wonderful day. Keep practicing. Thank Can't you. wait to see you back in the hot room. Thank you, Jeannie. Bye, Sue. Bye, Sue. Bye, Jeannie. Bye, Lydia. Bye, right. Lydia. Was, uh, Lydia was sitting. Hey, you. Lydia. Hello. You're Hi, welcome, Lydia. Lydia. You were sitting hey, in the Lydia. frame next to me. You were right in the frame oh. next. So I saw and everything. Easy. All right. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Oh, so good to see you. So All right. See. Thank you, Mark. Did you see Minty? Oh, hi, <laughs> Luna. Andrew. Breathe. Yeah. You guys are smiling. Hey, you. Oh, my goodness. You're smiling. Your faces. You're like, so ready. Like you're so you are so ready. Oh, <laughs> before I forget, before I forget, Changu has organized a, a, a public class on June 21st at 1 o'clock for International Yoga Day. Oh, Everyone's oh invited, and I think oh I'm delivering one posture. All right. Is that true, Changu? Yes. Sunday, awesome. 1 p.m. Yeah. June 21st, 1 p.m. Let's see each other again. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Woo. I'm, I'm going to leave the room you open are. for another five minutes for anyone who wants to get back to each other. I know that when we're at the studio together, that's our time <laughs> to get back to each other and connect and whatnot. Even though we were breathing and practicing and sweating together, I just mm -hmm. wanted to give you guys some time and space. So if you need it, I'm going to leave it open for another five. Thank you. Yeah, thank, you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for everything. Upar was like, uh, Upar just was like my right hand on this. What, Changu? Changu. Mm -hmm. Anytime, just, uh, anything, anytime you, you need Upar. any help, you got it. Upar is also helping me promote <laughs> the International Yoga Day. Um, uh, Bikram teachers, if you want to teach, please get in contact with me or Upkar and uh, we can set it up. I'm looking for teachers. So okay. teachers who did not teach for the for my birthday class, that would be Breed and Jackie, Lucas. Hi, buddy. So uh, we're going to get you guys to teach. With Lydia. Ellis and Lydia, of course. Oh, yeah. Ellis and Lydia. <laughs> Anna. Andrew. Anna. Andrew. Woo! Minty. Yeah. Minty. 